Hello, welcome back to yet another video from Matt YouTube. And in today's video, what I'll be talking about with the chosen topic being uh, why do we set limits for ourselves? And I know, um, again, uh, I did say I was going to be, um, oh, my days, I'm going to be saying or talking about when or how I got to my conclusion or how I came up with the idea. And yet again, I had thought of a, a lot a lot of ideas while I was sitting down outside and I'm not gonna lie to you if I sound different to how I normally sound maybe a little bit more nervous <sighs> talking in front of the camera and talking in front of people are two completely different things man my confidence was like here when I was just talking to the people that I knew not presenting nothing nothing like that I was just talking in front of the camera it was really easy simple I was looking at myself I was fluent i knew exactly what i was doing i was in control of my situation but damn talking from the people man I mean, it's just a different story but uh would that explain for maybe why i might sound a little bit different for like this week or something like that i mean for the next two weeks let's actually get on with this video okay my, my confidence may be like 28 percent back <laughs> roughly um let's actually go on with this video so today's video will be about why do we set limits for ourselves and that's the video premise um an idea and how i got to not my conclusion but how i got to my idea with that said and explained i guess we can roll the intro With the intro of in the premise, what? With the intro of all in the video premise explained, what? Uh, uh, you already, you already know what I'm talking about. So let's start off with point one. Point one being time limits and challenge. Yes, that's what I wrote. No, time limits. No, I didn't put a comment there. I'm saying up, but time limits equates to challenge. When you set yourself a time limit to be able to finish something faster than you were able to do before that is not it says setting the limits for yourself yes but that's a good limit that's to see if you can finish something the fastest time um to be able to get on with the next thing or to see if you're better at it than before that's a good limit that, that that's a a new um potential what's the word uh, standard you're supposed to reach for yourself and the mark that you want to get to specifically that's a completely different limit i'm not talking about those types of limits but since it is an actual limit i'll be talking about that it can go one or two ways time limits as in how long you specifically want to do something or how long something lasts you can't really set a limit for how something may last that may be out of your control but set uh, setting a time limit for yourself is in control and you can push yourself further and further i know I, I i may look like i'm talking about exercise but i'm talking about literally anything in general anything that you do in this life you can try and get better and better and better by practicing it via time limits let's go on with the second point yeah all right so with the second point being physical limits dash harm what did i say dash physical limits and harm and this is a completely different story if you set yourself physical limits for how much you should exert your body in doing a certain i'm going to use exercise as an example but this is just an example um how much you should be exert, how much energy you should be pushing or putting into what you're doing whatever it is actually and that is a physical limit so that's how much energy stamina how, how much i won't say physical paralysis um physical strength you'll be using during that duration of time that's a completely different thing and since since basically my since basically my channel is about anime philosophy and i did say that i really could not find anything from my hair academia let me just slap something out of nowhere go beyond plus ultra yes i know i, I know i can't believe i'm actually doing this myself it's crazy man. but it's something i'll be using it's 
basically to go beyond whatever limits you've set for you for yourself to go beyond and push yourself further and further and further every single time yes i think i believe i explained in my demon slayer video which is actually a really great one i recommend to you probably up here or already has passed so hmm. just rewind the, look at the video for a little bit and try and find it or just find it on my youtube channel either one but i did mention that um in anime specifically sometimes even the real world if you yeah, I'm holding a pen. I know it's just something that I like to do, and so maybe I might be doing it for a while now. Um, in the anime world, if you push yourself and push yourself and push yourself further and further and further, if you strive for a particular goal, in the end of the day, that's the one goal that they will, that they want to be, that they want to reach. Uh, it's not always the case in reality. Things happen, and you don't have writer's plot convenience to help you in actual life. So there's a big difference, but there is not. It's not necessarily the same with the Go Beyond Plus Ultra. This one, it's more like you you've set yourself a limit, and then you go beyond that limit. Like you push even further. Let's say uh, initially you were lifting I don't know 50 kg weights, and then you push it to maybe 60, 70. That's just for example. That's basically the best idea I can think of right now, and that's probably what I meant when I was talking about this. It probably wasn't. I mean, you can literally push yourself when it comes to anything, really. Um, I was about to say running, but that's basically still a form of exercise. Um, whether it be studying, binging, um, I don't know, typing, really, how many words you want to type per minute. Anything that motivates you, or um, it's basically a sense of motivation to push yourself harder and harder um, for anything that you may be doing. And um, yeah, that was actually the third point. And let's go on with the fourth point, for good or for bad. Now, I kind of did a pro, wait, what? No, that's not, yeah, that's not here. For good or for bad. Now, I kind of did a pro and a con list because first it was time limit and it's a challenge, physical limits and it may cause harm. Um, so, time limit being a challenge, being a pro and physical harm obviously oh. being a con. Also I have to come with my allergic to pollen and it's crazy, but facts are facts. So if you hear me sniffling down the video, deal with it, okay? It's something that people will live through. But um, with that with that said, um, let's continue with the conclusion. Again, for good or for bad, it can really it doesn't it depends, it doesn't not matter, I was about to say it doesn't matter. It depends mostly really. Um, actually it depends on the type of limit you set for yourself, whether it be a time limit that you persevere through or a physical limit that you persevere through. I believe going beyond your limits and um, exceeding the ex your own physical, ex um, not just physical, your own expectations on whatever really, um, I mean, it's a good thing. I don't think it's a bad thing. Um, if you go beyond what you yourself, let's say, um, let's take school for example, because not, my, not every person in this planet exercises, in, or not every person on this planet exercises. So let's say studying for example, or academic paralysis. Academic achievements. Let's say you set the standard for yourself. Um, I live in the UK, so it's from grade one being the lowest and grade nine being the highest. Actually, I don't even think you can get to grade nine in, in, in my year. But um, in grade nine being the highest and grade one being the lowest. Let's say right now you are a human being or a human being. Um, any really, for example, has a certain specific grade of I don't know seven, sevens, sixes mixed in between there um still above pass yes but they want to become an eight or a nine that's pushing yourself beyond it. your own mental I'll say or expert <laughs> your own mental expectation that is a good thing now with that said and explained i guess that's the conclusion finished what are your thoughts do you think you should be pushing through your limits i mean it's not really that hard of a question to be honest this one um i mean if you want to answer in the comments, that would be much well appreciated. And I hope you like, subscribe, comment, share. You will really be helping the brother out. And I'll see you in the next video. As per usual, peace.